Now the Intel Arc driver team has been putting in a lot of work on their GPUs, but when I saw in the latest release notes that there was a 750% performance increase in Halo Master Chief Collection, I was a bit, um, skeptical. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. But since I have an Intel Arc A750 and also the Halo Master Chief Collection, I thought, well, maybe I should test it out. And that's what we're going to do in today's video. So I'm going to compare my current driver, 4676, to the latest version, 4952 I think it is, and see just how much of a performance uplift we can get. But before we get into that, take a word from our sponsor. If you're in the market for a pre-built gaming PC, hop over to PCBros.Tech. PCBros.Tech has gaming PCs for every budget. Heck, even these guys can afford one. Not looking for a gaming PC? No problem, as they also have high quality merch like this giant build mat that's two feet by four feet, or this comfy hoodie that your significant other can steal from you later. Better get to. I mean, they even have extended mouse pads to finish off your gaming setup. So head over to PCBros.Tech today and use code PINKYTECH4 for 4% off your order. And now, back to the show. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, the Intel Arc GPUs have been having issues with the Halo Master Chief Collection since, well, Noah was building the original Arc. Basically, reports go back forever, just listing low CPU utilization, which in turn was making low frame rates. So we're going to go ahead and test it out with the current driver on my system at 1080p and enhanced settings because those are the only parameters that Intel provided in the release notes. Now, it is important to point out that the release notes only tell us that it's a 750% improvement at 1080p enhanced. They don't tell us what driver version or if they're comparing it to the beginning or to the last driver, etc. So we're going to have to make the assumption that it was on this driver and also that the performance scales linearly between all the different ARC GPUs. But those are just assumptions we don't know. But I'm not expecting a CPU or memory bottleneck on my system. I am going to be testing this on my PC, which is an Intel 10850K, the Intel Arc A750 LE, as well as 32 gigs of RAM. So I'm not expecting any kind of bottlenecks for anything outside of the actual GPU itself. So when we load up the campaign, we're averaging around 50 FPS, uh, but anytime we got into any kind of fight scenes, we were immediately dropping under 20 FPS with the 0.1% low in the single digits. So to say this was a bad experience is the understatement of the century. I mean, this was a biblically bad experience. That's right, two Bible jokes, one video, but can he get three? All right, so I think we've got it here. This is going to be a very bad experience. We're running 35, 36 FPS. Um, yeah, just just not good. I, I think I've done all I need to do on this. All right, so some quick math here is going to tell us that to get the 750% performance uplift from 50 FPS, we're going to have to average somewhere around 425 FPS. That's a big yikes. Well, only thing left to do is load up the drivers and see how far we get or if my original hypothesis was correct all right well you can't install new gpu drivers and still record in obs so just trust me bro they've been updated and and also because i know you don't trust me uh, here's a look at the device manager with the updated driver info all right, so immediately upon launching the campaign, I can tell everything just feels so much smoother and so much better. And if we take a look at the actual usage when firing up MSI Afterburner, we can see that the card is actually running at 100% now instead of around 30%. So that's already very good signs. But does that mean 425% FPS? Well, it looks like we're going to fall a little short. The average FPS was only about 231 during the campaigns, but the maximum was 662. So we didn't quite get to the promised land. There's your third reference. But the performance is absolutely insane just from a driver update. And then if you look back at the previous benchmarking that we did, during any kind of combat, we're down all the way to 19 FPS. And some quick math says to get a 750% performance increase from there, we'd only actually need to hit 131 FPS, and we're at 230. And so we easily hit the performance increase over the combat area. So what does this all mean? Well, if you have an Intel Arc GPU currently, make sure that you're keeping your drivers up to date because you're getting free performance on the regular. And then if you don't have an Intel Arc GPU, I think it just makes everyone very excited for what Battle Mage can be and that Intel is staying committed to delivering performance and increasing their presence in the GPU market. And who knows, after a year or two, maybe after Battle Mage GPUs come out, Intel could desperately be that third party that we needed in the GPU market to help keep price down but performance high 
And if this video helped you out, please make sure to click the like and subscribe buttons. Also, I'll have some affiliate links down at the bottom if this has convinced you for some reason to go pick up an, Arc, an Intel Arc GPU. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.